Though World War II had been over for 20 years by the time it was introduced, the FV-433 self-propelled gun clung to that war's tradition of naming self-propelled artillery after religious titles. Officially, it's the FV-433 105mm field artillery self-propelled. But to most people, it's the Abbot, named after someone in charge of an abbey of monks. Now, some might assume that the Abbot is a tank because, to the layperson, it looks like a tank. But the Abbot is actually a self-propelled gun, which is a distinctly different type of vehicle. While a tank is designed to be a frontline attack vehicle, an SPG like the Abbot is mobile artillery meant for a support role and not frontline attack. Developed in the late 1950s and in service by 1965, the Abbott was part of the British Army's FV-430 family of armored fighting vehicles. Built by Vickers, the FV-433 shared a lot of components with its immediate predecessor, the FV-432. One interesting aspect of the 433 was that it was amphibious, having been equipped with a flotation screen like those seen on tanks deployed during D-Day in 1944. Specking out at more than 19 feet in length, more than 8 feet in width and height, the Abbott was powered by a Rolls-Royce K-60 multi-fuel engine with a 101-gallon fuel tank. This provided 240 horsepower with a range of 240 miles at a top speed of 29 miles an hour. Not bad considering it weighs 16.5 tons, or 33,000 pounds. Equipped with a 105mm L13A1 gun that was more than 12 feet long, the Abbott could fire the 40 shells that they carried on board at a rate of 6 to 8 per minute out to a distance of 11 miles. Secondary armament consisted of a light machine gun with about 1,200 rounds on board. The driver sat up front on the right side near the engine. Up in the 360-degree turret, the commander sat on the right side, and the gunner sat slightly below and in front of the commander, and the loader sat on the left side. Ammo for the 105mm gun was stashed in just about every available location inside this compartment. While the full crew consisted of six men, only four could fit into the cramped quarters. The other two, the ammo handler and the second-in-command, traveled in an accompanying support vehicle and linked up with the FV-433 and the rest of the crew when they were in position to fire. Only intended to be a lightly armored vehicle capable of defending against shrapnel and small arms fire, the most robust part of the Abbott's armor wasn't even quite half an inch thick. Despite the popularity with its crews, the Abbott was only produced in small numbers, with just 234 being built, which included more than 50 so-called economy versions that were delivered to India. In the 1990s, the British Army replaced the Abbott with the AS-90. India's Regiment of Artillery, however, is still actively using the Abbott as one of three self-propelled guns in their equipment roster. Today, the Abbott is a popular vehicle for civilians who want to own a so-called tank because they're easier to find and, quite frankly, less expensive. They can be found at commercial places like Drive Tanks in Texas, Drive a Tank in Minnesota, Combat Park in Alabama, Armageddon in the UK, as well as some private collections too, both in the US and abroad. Interestingly and oddly enough, the Abbott is exempt from London's congestion charge on the roads. If you decide that you need one of your own, you can buy an FV-433 for around $75,000. It's not exactly chump change, but it does come with a lot of bragging rights.